The Holy Cross Orphanage has been a part of Marquette for more than 100 years. Standing tall and withholding endless memories, it has become a significant landmark for anyone who passes by. After sitting empty for decades, with occasional trespassing and a permanent residence for pigeons, the orphanage is finally being reborn. Five different organizations came together to renovate the orphanage into low-income apartments. But before the construction began, workers knew their job was cut out for them. People had stripped the woodwork, they had stripped the light fixtures. A lot of the um, details were missing, so what was left was just uh, the plaster coming off of the walls and, and in piles on the floor. It was uh, very, very bad. While many changes are being done inside the building, the outside will maintain its historic character. All of the masonry work, that's the brick and the sandstone, um, that will all be restored. Um, we have, uh, the National Park Service has uh, designated this as an, an historic site, um, and we have been awarded historic tax credits. And so we're obliged to uh, renovate the property. Some of the apartments will have project-based rental assistance. This will allow rent prices to be based on the tenant's income. After being born and raised in Marquette, this is an especially emotional project for Lurley. To be a part of uh, restoring this building, is it just means so much. And especially um, in light of the work that I get to do uh, with affordable housing, it's very, very, it's very um, rewarding to be a part of creating a situation where people who maybe wouldn't otherwise be able to afford to live in Marquette can be here. Although taking a peek inside the orphanage is tempting for most Marquette residents, no tours have been authorized to go inside quite yet. 